Good morning friends. Uh, today I am going to pr present a tutorial on uh, wireless sensor networks. So first of all I have created this video for the purpose of uh, uh, IT377. This is a uh, uh, other part of the hands-on. So my instructor is Dr. Yon Geng Tang and my name is Ankit Chanani. I am a graduate student for the subject Practical Telecommunication IT377. So today going, we are going to present uh, hands-on our kind of tutorial for the wireless sensor networks. So let's begin with the uh, sensor networks. First of all, here you can see the overview of wireless sensor network. Um, first of all, um, this is the sync node. This is the user and this is the this is all connected to the internet station. Basically, you can see that this is a base, uh, base station and these are the sensor nodes which are connected in a clustered or a layered architecture. All about the architecture I have mentioned in my research paper and also in the presentation that how many parts of architecture the sensor nodes can be created. So there are many kinds of sensor nodes. Basically they are called the VASP modes in terms of telecommunication because you know the sensor nodes can be also have the other meanings also. So that's why they are known as the VASP modes. So focusing on the picture, uh, there are you can see there are many sensor nodes connected and this arrow is showing that the information is transferring from this part to this part to this part and directly to the sync node and this is to the internet. This sync node is also known as a data accusation sensor node. This is internet is a base station. So these sensors perform different kind of function. Basically they can perform diverse functions. We will let us. Uh, we will. Uh, I will let you know about that later. So I hope the concept of uh, the overview, the, the picture is presenting. I have presented care is uh, pretty much clear. So moving on to the next picture. Here you can see that typical wireless sensor node. So it has an antenna. It has a programming jack. It has a memory. Basically, there's a chip memory. You can also use a cylindrical memory. Here is RFC connectors and these are different kinds of sensor chips and finally here is a motherboard. I am going to present uh, this in the detail. I have a, just want to know that how the sensor networks, uh, how the sensor node looks. All right. So here you can see a breadboard or uh, the motherboard of a sensor node. Here is this is the LED which uh, flashes as a green and blue. This is inbuilt and this costs around uh, 150 to 200 per module. Uh, basically not for the one but only for a single purpose you can say uh, this can cost around $25 so, and this is the cylindrical um, a coin showing that uh, the pay, it cost a very lot so that doesn't matter over here so basically the earlier image uh, the this is the detail of an earlier image here you can uh, uh, plug the battery with the sensor node and also the connectors and you can perform the various functions so this is was just uh, this is just a uh, typical view. All right. So now the node is in the detail. So you can see here is the antenna, an external antenna connected. Here is a mode connected where we are going to program. Actually, the program is going to locate there. And uh, here are the AAA batteries. As I said, that you also can use the cylindrical batteries instead of chip memories. And this is the sensor board. That is the motherboard actually on which all the connections and all the uh, wires are being plugged so that it can work only the wires like the copper wires that are going to be plugged if you uh, there's an option so if you want to or not, depending upon the purpose now uh, there are different types of vast modes used for the diverse purpose here is a high sensitivity acceleration SHM board which was developed at the MIT in the nine year um, 2003 and still in, it's in process of developing and there are there are the different versions this is the data accusation board and these basically are used at the application layer and this is the strain board and the wind pressure basically this wind pressure smp board is an external or you can say the enhanced part of data accusation this is just a you know a example provided over here so you can basically understand more about the data accusation i uh, following uh, followingly i am going to explain you more by giving the example so as of now i have told that uh, i have shown you the wireless sensor nodes now uh, in further i am going to present an example and i'm going to show how the sensor network works by uh, and how these perform 
So I hope so far uh, it is clear. All right, here's the radiation sensor board and there are many uh, for the enhancement like uh, here's a GPS, here's a GPS, here's a lithium battery. If if lithium battery is added, if you like, you know, want that GPS, the wireless sensor should work for 24 into 7 into 365. So if you want to work, so uh, depending upon the usage, the battery is used. Here's a Zigbee radio if you want to catch the alternative frequency that is AF. And as I told, this is called the VAS mode. So this is a name provided. And this is the protocols. Uh, the heading is given protocols with device, the various devices, and they're with protocols. All right. So now, as I have to present the tutorial and I have to complete the project, so I'm going to um, generalize this and go going to give the example of parking system that is called the smart parking system with the wireless sensor network. So I am going to give the tutorial and also the example so you can understand more about it. All right, so the heading is modes, sensors, and base stations. First of all, I'm going to tell you that what are the modes, what are the sensors, and what is the base station. Here you can see there are three VASP modes. This is the first map mode, this is the second VASP mode, VASP mode, and this is the third VASP mode. And this is the data accusation SMH board, which I showed you earlier. So this is the data accusation mode, and this is our external node. That is the sync node. You, if you if you remember the sync node, as I told in the first pick first image, this is the sync node, and these are the nodes that that carry the information and just transfer this to the external board, and it is connected to the computer so uh, to transfer the data. All right, so I am now going to explain you about the smart parking system through these nodes. Suppose that uh, just follow the cursor. Suppose that this node and this node are uh, buried down the road for in a parking lot and this is our the third uh, this is our the third node which is the external point and also this is our data accusation sm board which is which which is connected to these three nodes uh, this is uh, for the smart parking system this is the car one this is the car two and this is the car three basically all three of the sensor nodes have the led which which is yellow and uh, uh, sorry I'm so sorry, it's a uh, blue, red, and green. So, this is the external antenna to sense the environment of the car or the device. Basically, you can say it's a motion sensor plugged into this with an X antenna. All right, so whenever uh, this senses the uh, car, uh, they just sends, send the data to the data acquisition board, and data acquisition board just transfer to the sync node. And sync node is programmed in a way that it transfer the data to the our main station. So you can see this there is a USB. Uh, the USB is connected to the computer, and the software we use is the Libellium. As I told uh, during the presentation, that Libellium is still in research. So um, uh, my instructor knows about this, and this is because this is in the research. So I have not provided the programming concept of this um, so far. Till then, I'm um, I'm going to tell that uh, how these work. So whenever this um, sensor, when this sensor motion, uh, sensor motion uh, senses the environment that any car is parked on, they just send the data to the acquisition board, and acquisition board send the data to this one. And the programming, programming basically helps to reset the counter that the parking system, parking in the parking lot is available or not. Depending upon these sensor nodes, there is an counter or you can say the LED display panel on which the counting goes on that how many parkings are available at the place or not. So this is the fundamental of the uh, wireless sensor network and this was about the parking system. I hope you understood that uh, how the parking system and the wireless sensor works. Uh, here is the physical phenomena and you can see the indoor parking lot and the outdoor parking lot You can see that here are the sensors buried down the road This is the outdoor parking lot actually and here are the indoor parking lot like you can see the uh, sensors are buried down the in the cemented pathway so this was all about the wireless sensor no wireless sensor networks and the tutorial for the 
and tutorial as an example for the smart parking system. Alright, so thank you very much.